Blackberry bush. That also has coronavirus. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Our new greeting will be... <gasps> I need you brave explorers to go and... Get a mirror to look at your ugly selves. <laughs> We've got baskets for the apples and buckets to trap the coronavirus and give ourselves amnesia. First, the easy bit, picking apples. It's a lot easier than not throwing up after seeing you, you ugly excuse for a family. At least our color wasn't drained from us. First of all, you should know that I am psychic because I am a mom, and second of all, the Claude known as Daddy Pig is the one that works. This bush has been here since 1,000 years ago, which is when Grandpa Pig was born. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. I thought we were kid-friendly, and I thought you had coronavirus. Silly Grandpa. Of course, she's sick. We brought her here so she can contaminate you. Careful, George. <laughs> I have a, a very dumb brain. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa! Do you disgusting things know what dumb means? The real question is do you? Hey! Hi! Hey! Hi! How do we end this? You just did. <laughs> oh dear! Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy! Now I can't give you coronavirus. Uh, no! I never said you had an opinion. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. And she was so ugly that Blobfish threw up at the sight of her. Well, I never said you were my daughter. Hello, Susie. Guess what? I hate you. Like sleeping? Heap of ugliness. That's the first compliment I've heard you say. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um... Could you make yourselves useful and get me out of here? Don't worry. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Can I just say that if you're handsome, then blobfish are cute. Stand back, everyone. A tornado of ugliness is coming through. Yay! Oh, my prince. My ugly wife. You're supposed to be part of a kid's show. Today's opposite day. Mommy! Kneel down before me, you peasant. <laughs> I, thought... I was the peasant. You are? Granny! Granny! I just wanted to say that my mom is ugly and my dad is ugly and Susie is ugly and my grandma and grandpa are very ugly and George is the ugliest Claude in the world. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. I think we've heard your dumb mouth talking enough. I never want to see... The claw that identifies herself as Peppa. So, you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble then? Well... Mmm... Coronavirus. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe's big friend that have coronavirus. Pepper and her family are on their way to visit Cousin Chloe. I've been looking for someone equally ugly as me. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe! Chloe! Who are these ugly peasants? Hi there! These are my friends, Simon Squirrel and... The one and only coronavirus. You can call me Cy. It's short for Simon. And I'm... COVID-19. It's short for... Coronavirus. I'm Peppa. We'll call you Pe. Oh, and this is George. We'll call you J. Oh. You didn't tell us you had baby cousins, Chloe. I'm not a baby, but you're both little. If seven feet is little, then three feet must be microscopic. Uh, why don't we all play a game? Whatever you say, magic talking mirror. <laughs> We don't play baby games anymore. We're almost grown up. Can you hear something, Mirror? Because I can't hear anything. What's the yes-no game? I ask what your IQ level is. What makes that a game? Nobody said it was a game. You have such a bad memory. So what's your IQ? 
Yes. Ah, uh -huh, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not a number. What's your IQ? Coronavirus. Negative 5,000. Aha! Uh -huh, I win again. <laughs> Pepper is very good at playing the yes-no game. Can I ask the questions? Only if I'm ugly. So is that a yes? I don't mind. Are you smarter than a goat? I don't think so. Are you a tornado of ugliness that will destroy everything in its path? Yes. Ah, I win! You said yes! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! Let's play another game! This game will be called Imbecile. What's that? The real question is who's smart and who's an imbecile? That sounds like hide and seek. That's because first you were dropped off a roof and then you were dropped off a cliff and then off Mount Everest. Like sardines in a tin. All right. It's ugliness time. <laughs> it's actually corona time. <laughs> One, two, three. George is running away from the tornadoes of ugliness. Nine, ten. With your nose. We're about to ruin your face. <laughs> George! That's inappropriate. <laughs> Pepper is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now, Chloe is breaking coronavirus rules. <laughs> Move up. <laughs> there you all are. No. Everyone is going to get coronavirus. Watch up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Coronavirus. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I cast on the a coronavirus spell. Yeah, let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? Who's to say that we have to tell you?